Well, it is an absolutely beautiful November morning. Pretty warm out. It's gonna be warm today. We're gonna head into the, the bank. We're in the 4,500. We gotta go get some more money. I got a little bit here, but we're on our way to uh, try and buy something. And uh, that just ain't gonna be enough money. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and head in the bank and grab a bunch more see what we can do all right got some more money now we can head out and look at this thing all right so here's what i've come to look at this is a 2021 pj said he used it for about 30 days doing a little bit of hauling and didn't use didn't use it very much and that man is telling me the truth look at that look at that rub rail not one scratch on it so far oil bath axles Tires are like new. Dual tandems. Low profile, which is what I was after. A nice low deck. See how it's cut out here. Big ramps on the back. Perfect. It's got the tie downs here. Spring assist. Man is telling me the truth. I don't think he's hardly used this at all. Look at that. Man, look at that. Hardly any any marks on the deck. Check these tires equally good. I believe these are just load range E's. Once these are worn out, we'll change them out to uh, 17 fives instead of the 16s. Just electric brakes. Look at that, U-bolts are like new. Boy, that's a crappy weld right there. That mess, but ladder bridging nonetheless. I like that. And it's supposed to be just electric brakes. I don't have to do a little bit of a oh, just dirt wipes right off. It's a 2021 PJ. It's supposed to be a 25,000 TVW. 25,000 GVW. Single speed jacks. Toolbox is clean, the lid works. It's got a spare tire. Never been on, good deal. All I need to do is get it out here and get a look underneath it, make sure there's no bent axles or anything weird. Give it a good looking over and see if we can make a deal on it. This trailer just cost him $23,000 when he bought it. So, we'll see what kind of deal we can make. Well, as you can see in the mirror, I was able to negotiate a deal. And we are bringing her home. So, let's get it pulled in over to one of the properties and we'll talk about it. Well, we're back. I'm parking over here. i got to move some stuff over at the other place before I can get it in there. But, uh... It's a 2021 PJ. Um, he had the keys for the toolbox, which was good. Uh, everything worked great. No issues. Um, I guess show before we got the spare tire. And I was able to make a deal. And he had a title. No liens, no nothing on it. So we went to the title office. And uh, we had a little bit of MIG wire right there. Went to the title office and transferred the title. It's done. It's in my name. Happy drop leg jacks. We're a little bit high in the front. Uh, I need to drop the. Uh, I need to drop that down one more hole, I think, to make it level on this truck. Of course, I don't want to use it on this truck. I don't. I don't want this truck. I'm not going to use this truck. Um, I'm going to use it with another truck, which I'll show you in a little bit. I bought a truck specifically for this trailer, but now you can get a better look of the condition. I mean, it is. It's as close to new as I'm gonna get, that's for sure. Um, I looked online before I went to go look at it to see, cause he told me it cost him 23,000 bucks to buy the trailer. And uh, you know, I found similar numbers. I'm not gonna say it was exact to what he has, but uh, some places were more, some were less. But uh, all in all, I, th I think he's telling me the truth. Um, hardly used i mean he has never folded these ramps down he said 
he said uh, hey, a little bit of booger right there where somebody bumped it um, but he said he's never folded them down it's only been used for two pieces of equipment that he hauled and it was less than 5,000 pounds so um, pretty good shape I think um, frames in good shape I have no no reservations at all it towed beautiful all the way home it's got oil bath axles got a torque tube down the center the ladder bridging like I was pointing out earlier I mean it's it's as new as new can be I don't like to buy new because um, I can't afford it but nonetheless not too bad at all I'm pleased as punch this allows me to get rid of my rollback and I can use this to move my, my grade all. I was really looking for a 30 foot gooseneck dual tandem, but unfortunately there's not a lot to be found right now. And what is out there seems like they want as much for the used as they do uh, new ones. So uh, anyways, that's the trailer. And I guess I'll go home and show you the truck that I bought to pull it with. I'm not going to use that 4500. I'm not I'm not a fan of the 4500. I'm using it because my Dodge needs fixed. And I just haven't had time to get to it. But, uh, man, I really like that trailer. I really like that trailer. So, let's go look at the truck. Alright, so this is the truck I bought. Pull that gooseneck with. It's an 04 8600 International. It's got a 330 horse ISM coming. 10 speed. Remember the rear end ratio. Um, it's got power windows, power locks, uh, power heated mirrors, cruise control, tilt wheel, air brakes, air to the rear, gooseneck hitch, um, pedal hook, two inch receiver. A lot of things that I want in a truck. Um, it's got new clutch, new drive tires, new turbo. We got the paperwork with a bunch of the maintenance on it. it looks like they replaced the transmission, but I'm, I'm having a hard time reading on the writing. But uh, a very well cared for truck. This was originally a Ryder lease truck that uh, was bought out by a company, uh, and then you know they kept it up themselves. But the only thing the truck really needs is got a small oil leak in the front by the crank seal, so I'll have to address that. But, get over here to the gooseneck trailer and show you more about it. Also, there's no air seat on the passenger side, so sorry for the shaking of the phone. Yeah, well, that's something we'll have to change. We'll have to put an air ride seat for the passenger. We're going to disconnect this truck from the trailer, take it home, and get it ready to put in the garage for winter. And we're just going to hook this truck up to the trailer whenever we move it. Um, we've had this, this truck up for sale, but a lot of interest, but nobody has uh, come through with money yet. So we'll see how that goes. But regardless, it needs to go in the garage for winter time. That makes it easier to finish it up. You don't have to keep cranking, huh? Just need a little. It's still going up, honey. It, it was, yeah. I think it's. I think it stopped now. Now it's still going a little bit. Higher than that one? Okay. Little nip for the win. Hmm. Pocket size.
have to get a, a real wrench on this to get home. Back under. All right. So I'll pull forward. Get it underneath there. Okay. Sorry if there's wind noise in the camera. Ooh, it's very windy today and 32 degrees. We're supposed to get like two inches of snow. Oh goody. Yep, all working. All right, so we got gooseneck. It was originally a single axle with a fifth wheel, which we'll put back on and do something different with this gooseneck because it's too high for this. I can't go any shorter, and we're still too high. But uh, I don't, I don't want that plate anyways. I was happy to see that they bolted it to the original fifth wheel frame instead of to the top of the frame rail. But uh, air ride, gooseneck, pinnel hook adjustable, receiver underneath, seven pin RV style, seven pin semi style. Difference in these two is on this one, the brake light and turn signal use the same filament. On this one, they use two different filaments. LED lights. Got full fenders. The tires on these, they replaced them. They're 11 r 225s The truck originally had 295, 75 225s, which are lower. So I could probably get back to the smaller size, and that would take care of that height problem. Because I'm just a inch and a half, two inches too tall. I'd be close. 
dual aluminum tanks, 100, uh, 100 gallon. Yeah. Is that what that is? Yeah, 100 gallon. 100 gallon tanks. Fuel filter's good. Don't need to replace that yet. Steer tires are like new. But, uh, turn signals on the mirrors. Nice visor. Nice chrome grill. Headlights and uh, blind spot mirrors. I think I have a chrome bumper for this. Some aluminum wheels would be nice. Got toolboxes on either side. This is nice. My wife likes this because she's short, so it allows her to get in here a little bit easier because that step was uh, a little far apart. It's a uh, one of the trim pieces. Another toolbox here. Um, yeah, just a decent old truck. So this is a setup that I'm going to use. I wanted to use this for um, moving my grade all and uh, my uh, picking up of whatever toys. The trailer is 44 foot of deck and dovetail, 53 feet uh, up to the gooseneck. So, and this trailer is like new. I mean, it's uh, it was used twice to move a 5,000 uh, 5,000 pound AC unit or something like that or 5,000 pounds worth of AC units whatever it was I don't recall but you can see it's the ramps have never been flipped down they're just dirty so should be a good trailer I didn't want a 44 footer I really wanted a 36 but um, I went to several places to get them and uh, they uh, didn't have any and it was nine months to a year wait and when this one came available, I thought, well, I don't think I can get any closer to new than this. You know, the guy used it for uh, two trips, and that was it, and parked it. So um, it'll be just fine for me, unless I sell it, you know, and that's okay, too. Because the day after I bought this, I had messaged a guy two weeks before I found this about his, uh, it's not a, stop, a step deck, it's a low boy. The deck's up here, and then it comes down like this, and is a low boy, and it had a 48,000 GBW, and that's what I was after with air brakes. This one's got 25,900 or something like that. So, um, he didn't, he never messaged me back, so I just kind of blew it off. Well, then right after I bought this, uh, he messaged me and said, yeah, and yeah, it's available. The guy that was supposed to buy it fell through, so now I may be selling this one off this is a 2021 and uh going with the step deck he has a uh where's the gbw on that thing yeah 25,000. he has a w900 as well and i'd like to buy them both but i just don't know if i can afford it i'm not a fan of this deck i don't need that i don't want it uh for what my needs are i could probably turn that into a weed burner exhaust Get it down underneath the truck and i could get a small 36 inch sleeper in here and still do what i need to do which would be all right but decent truck lots of extra lights and stuff which is good you know we like lights that's for sure so anyways we may use it i may sell that trailer we'll see i'm supposed to go on uh tuesday to uh go look at that guy's trailer and i'm going to take this truck i'm putting a fifth wheel on it I'm gonna take that stuff off, put a fifth wheel on it so I can bring his trailer back. If I can make a deal on the truck and the trailer, if they're both in good shape, I've asked him lots and lots of questions because it's up in Michigan and they they have more rust issues than we do, they're farther north. And he tells me there's no rust issues and I told him it's a, it's quite a drive so I wanna make sure I don't waste my time. So I wanna go up there and um, hopefully make a deal for both of them if they're in good shape if they're what the guy says they are he says the w900 is ready to go it's in service so is the trailer so stay tuned for that but that's that truck that's what we're going to use to haul them to nice setup that, that gooseneck ball could be shoved forward quite a bit and uh shorten it up but if i use it as it is then uh i mean i could get a 36 inch sleeper or something like that on there pretty easy them long trips but anyways hope you guys enjoyed that catch y'all next one